It says I'm live. I hope I am. Hi, Fishy folks. 12 people already chilling. I like it. Ah, I'm okay. Got my my aquarium box towel. I think I should just do the stream like this. What do you guys think? Nah, I couldn't see the screen. All right. How's everyone doing? Do me a favor, y'all. That's right, y'all. Go ahead and smash the like button. Smash it. Smash it. Obliterate it. Annihilate it. Just obliterate it. And uh, then share this. Share it to everyone. Your mom, your dad, anyone in your house who can log into some sort of device. Share it with them so they can watch. That would be cool. All right. I'm just going to do a general hi, everyone. Joel from New Zealand, Robin, Crazy, Chris, Joseph, Meat Man, love Meat Man, Kiwi, Mob, Guppy, JW, Scott in the house. Hey, guys. <clears throat> Scott and I did some long videos, the Breakfast with Three Fish Guys. If you haven't done so already, when we're done, go ahead and check that out. You got to grab a lot of snack and beverage because it's long. Mine is like half an hour. I think his is almost half an hour. Go ahead and check it out. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Down the wormhole. Hello, my dear. How are you, D? Is it cold where you are? I have to go to Chikudami. I told you this last week. And I have to go to Idaho. Idaho in January. I'm not too happy about that either. Chris, Steve, top five. All right. Just a general. Hi, everyone. <clears throat> I'm okay. I've got my beverage of choice, Poland Spring water. And uh, I just had dinner, so I need a snack. I made taquitos yesterday. They were spectacular. Leftover taquitos are the are awesome. You guys know what a taquito is? I'll explain it. Mr. B, I'm fine. Floyd, hello, sir. All right, I'm, I got to stop doing that. So a taquito is like... Almost taco meat. I take ground beef, lots of garlic, onion powder, uh, adobe, taco seasoning. And here's the key, folks. Paul Newman's pineapple salsa. That's right, pineapple salsa. You mix all the meat together, get everything all happy. That Just because, Steve, thank you so much, Steve, with the $5 super chat. You're awesome, Steve. I don't care what Scott says. Anyway, back to the taquitos. You meld all the flavors together, then you wrap them in some flour tortillas. I like the, the bigger ones like this. You roll them up like a cigar, not too tight. Then you brush them with oil, then you bake them 400 for 20 minutes. Oh, you gotta put a little cheese in there too. Delicious. All right, enough about food. Aaron Kent from the UK. <clears throat> I'm fine, little post nasal thing going on. Robin says, I was just watching you, Scott, and Chris, but this notification came up, and of course, I couldn't miss it. I'll be back to the fabulous three guys, YouTube, when it's done. Thanks, Robin. You know, I loved what I was doing, too, but I'm a little disappointed because the video is really not doing well. My video is not doing that well, and Scott's isn't doing that well. So tell all your friends how funny and awesome we are. All right. Yes, Jordan, kind of like enchiladas without the enchilada sauce on top. The cheese goes in it. You brush it with the oil. It gets all crispy on the edges. A little sour cream for dipping. Oh. You know how I am about food. I should start a food channel. I've been thinking about starting another channel. There's like lifestyle channels where you just talk about whatever or a food channel. I don't know. It's a lot of work though. And I already have three videos a week for this channel, which I don't want to give up on. All right. Liam S. says... What's the reason you started in the fish hobby? Well, the reason I started originally in a fish hobby when I was a little boy, my dad said, should you do on a fish tank? Or I said, I want a fish tank. And boom, fish tank. But recently I started, I was having some anger management issues and I needed like a place and a thing to focus on. And my side recently was about three years ago. And uh, so fish tanks is where it was at. Uh, Fancy Tail Aquatics. Hello, sir. Aaron Kent, can I see some of your fish? I'm just getting into breeding fish. 
Aaron, check out the channel. There's, I don't know, 480 videos you can watch of my fish room. You can check out michaelsfishroom.com for the fish I sell. And uh, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Watching from Australia. We got a lot of folks down from that part of the world usually hanging out. When I say a lot, I mean like, damn, my head's shiny. When I say a lot, I mean like usually three or four at least. JW says wanted dessert, but full from the barbecue. What kind of barbecue did you have, JW? Jordan, damn, Mike, I've been saying make a food shop. Yeah, you have, my friend. I'm sorry. A and T dirt biking. There's a name I haven't seen, I don't think, before. Hi from Florida. How's the weather down there? I heard it was cold. It was like in the 40s. That's like that might as well be the Arctic for you guys. Oh, Sweden. I'm from Finland, just so you know. What do you do if your guppy is gasping for air? Tell me about the tank. I need more information. Like, as an example, usually gas for air is they're too hot or there's not enough oxygen in the water because it's too hot. So tell me all the good stuff. Got my Jack Russell watching, too. Word, Jordan. My Jack Russell's upstairs probably sleeping. Joe from New Zealand, weird to think of you as a man with an anger problem. Tickly neurotic, Jew. dude. I, 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 I still have anger management issues. Like, don't get in a car with me, and, and there'll be road rage in front of me. Forget it. Anyway, crazy gorilla. Hey, Mike, did you ever try breeding all white platinum guppies? I just picked up at Petco last week, and he's awesome. I'm trying to get some babies out of him with my females. So I've never seen a female white guppy before. All white, not albino, all white female guppy. Most, from what I've heard, most breeders won't give them up. It's like the holy grail right now in the guppy community. Pulled pork, JW. I do a nice pulled pork. Chris from Louisiana, how you doing? Dominic, I keep doing this. I know, I can't help it. The Soar family from South Africa. Uh-oh, buffering mob. Mob, that's you, baby. Steve, gas me for air, start CPR. Just, you got to, that was weird, sorry. Uh, uh, getting some internet drag. Really, Scott? Maybe it is me. Stand by. Let's check. Or don't steal his word. You don't want to steal my bacon. Scott learned the hard way. I almost broke his hand. Um, Boom. Boom. All right. Well, we shut that off, so we'll see how that goes. I'll put that back in my pocket. Uh, Michael's going through a tunnel or behind a hill problem. <laughs> That's funny. Do you like blood parrot cichlids? I don't. A.T. Dirt bike, which is weird because I have a flower horn, but whatever. Oddball Aquatics. Hello, fish folks. They never saw pairs of the all-whites. They seem to throw pink. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'd be leery of any guppy from uh, PetSmart or Petco. You got Gusby. Do they have a temp and water press? That's right, Fancy Tail. We need some more info from Sweden. Denny, having anger problems are a byproduct of getting old. No, I've always had anger problems. I am getting old, though. So it's buffering. So I recently changed my internet plan. It's basically it's supposed to say the same speed, but I got a, a better deal. But I've been having problems upstairs also sometimes with Netflix looking weird and taking a while. So. Anger Mike's going to have to call Verizon again. Bob Kaler's in the house. Why, Lord, have mercy, Bob? What happened? I do love my bacon, Aaron. Joe with a $2 New Zealand super chat. What is that in U.S. money, Joe? What's the conversion? Do you know? We've done this exact conversation before, Joe. I know we have. And I don't remember. Um, Where was I? How old are you, Mike? Oh, Scott wants to know how old I am. I am 48, 46. I'm 46. I was born in 72. Yeah, 46. I feel like I'm 90. Got some tooth issues. Hi, Candy. Oh, I got to make Candy a mod because apparently that's the trick to super stardom is making her a mod. Candy, you are now a mod, dear. How's the boy doing? I think, hope he's doing well. Uh... Yeah, Joel, probably about 100 bucks. Sure it is. Jason from Jadron Aquatics in the house. No, I'm good. Not needed. What? Too bad. 
Ha ha. You told me I had to make you a mod. I take you seriously, young lady. Scott, the orjo has really helped. Thank you. I have a tooth problem going on. It's a long story, but I get super miserable when I'm in pain, especially my teeth. Uh, glad guppies. What is your favorite breed of guppy? Well, my favorite strain of guppy, if that's what you mean, and I don't mean to be a guppy nerd, but guppies are all the same breed. Strains are the different, you know, thingy thing. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of guppies I like. In my fish room right now, it's the, the Dumbo Rainbow Dragon Mosaics. Well, if Jamie did candy, too bad I did it anyway. Life with pets. Hello, hello. The neuroticism manifesting. That's a big word, Joel. I don't know what that means. What is my favorite tank size? For what, Dominic? For breeding guppies, 20 high. For breeding pluckles, 20 long. For breeding angels, 20 high. I guess 20 high. Stand by. <coughs> That's like a legit. Legitimate cough. I'm fine. Ah. Valley fish in the house. Hey, let's get this bad boy up to 100. 69 people watching. Let's get this bad boy up to 100. What do you think? And uh, Seriously, 25 thumbs up? What the heck, bro? Oddball uh, wants to know if I'm okay. I'm fine. No, but the little females appear to be gravid. They're just kids still. What are you talking about, Bob? 20 high for guppies is perfect. That's what Fancy Tail Guppy says. Where are the great fish stores in PA, Joseph? Well, Joseph, I'm glad you asked. You should probably check out my last fish store tour, Exotic Fish and Pets in Redding, Pennsylvania. One of my mods, Candy, you should link it. Dear God, no earbuds for your stream. I could probably make it lower, but I'm just a loud guy. How is everyone's Christmas shopping going? I don't ship to Canada, Sanad. Sorry. Wow. Excuse me. That was supposed to come out. 54 Punchy in the house. Uh, I have Hawaiian fry, Bob. Just saying. Too cool for school. That seems like a fake account, too, too cool. Anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just hacking up some lung. That's fine. I got a little cold thing going on, apparently. And I'm going to show my mustache hairs because they're itching. All right. What do we got? I do. Bob? I think you're talking to me. Hey, Mike, you made me love guppies, so I'm bringing them now. You're welcome. How's the guppy trade in South Africa, sword family? Uh, have you seen my Hawaiians, Bob? You probably have. There's Scott and Rob93 having a conversation all on their own. Could breeding ever go too far? Like, would it become bad for the fish at one point? Yeah, legit. Especially if you don't add new genetics. They'll get all jacked up in about... 12, 10 to 12 uh, generations, all jacked up. Two Cool for School says, it's my real one. Okay. Robin, trying to like YouTube and somehow I did a 199. What does that mean? I'm going to go live. Oddball's going live later. Got to get myself set up. Y'all have fun. Michael, I'm going to need some Dumbo Ear Guppy soon. So breed them up. I have. I have two strains of Dumbo ears. Anyway. Uh, that's rude, right, Mike? What's rude, Chris? Angelo in the house. Angelo sent me a present in the mail all the way from Canada. I might be showing what that is tomorrow. Maybe. How many fish do you have all together? I want to know how many fish. Thousands. I have 54 tanks in the fish room. 50... Two of them, 50, 50 of them have guppies breeding, so I just have thousands. Uh, Steve here, phone died, so now killing my wife's battery. <laughs> All right, Jacqueline Flores. <laughs> Show us the Hawaiians. 
I will, Bob, in a video. I know this is supposed to be a guppy centric live chat, but any suggestions for sword tail fry? I'm I am over. You mean suggestions on what to do with them? You you should have figured that out before you bred them. Uh, local fish store, fish clubs, feed them to Chewy. I don't. That's what I would do. How many tanks do you have? Candy quads racing. I have fifty four tanks in the fish room with water in them, and then I have one tank upstairs. What's my favorite schooling fish? Rummy nose tetras. Sword made 300 bucks in one month. Selling guppies, way to go. Sanad Abraham from Canada. I'm looking to breed guppies. Currently I separate the fry in five and a half gallon and keep the large ones in 20 gallon long. What would be the best setup? Big fan, by the way. Well, I'm lazy, so my best setup is Colleen breeding. Lots of places for the gut, the fry to hide. But if you have time, yeah, you should pull in a tank once you join the tank with the boys. Then when mommy gets pregnant again and, and maybe 26 days later, drop her into another tank, boom, more fry. That's what I would do. <sighs> Hawaiian blue Moscow's like I have as well, as well as Bob. If you got them, makes four in the USA from Luke's line. Nice. No, I... That's not what I have. I have Hawaiian snake skins. And they're not they're not blue. They're kind of reddish. Uh, why don't you keep any rummy nose tetras? Chris wants to know. Because I don't have a place for them. I do have in my angel tank upstairs, Luke got at the uh, Keystone Clash, Luke got black. They're not black skirt tetras, but there's some black tetra. As soon as he gets his tank set up, I'm going to put those in his tank. Then I'm going to get Rummy Nose for that tank upstairs. All right. Here we go. Geo Aquariums, I got some black panda guppies from you around a year or so ago, and they only drop a couple fry at a time. Have you noticed with the ones you still have? No. My fry, my black pandas, like I had a drop of black pandas, had to be 30. What are you feeding them? What's the temperature? What's your water parameters? How often do you change water? Give me the details. Candy quads, I don't have any albino strains. I don't like albino strains. They're creepy. Uh, yeah, Joseph, it's buffering. I got to call Verizon. I don't know what the heck is going on. Scott, that's what I'm talking about. Mike, you ever thought of trying to breed super red long fins? If I could get my hands on long fins, I would definitely breed them because that would make some bank. Yeah, Keystone Clash. I've been getting a lot of, a lot of hits about that today. Scott, not sure if I'm actually going to it this year. Anywho, fish for profit would exclude some of the hobby. I don't know what that means. What they, what are they doing? I don't breed neon tetras, Joseph. <sighs> I'm pretty sure the tetras your son got were black phantoms. Yeah, I think you're right. I guess it's one of the things one would say. What are you talking about? What are they doing? Angela Shishchanks, if you had to guess, how many strains would your mutts consist of? Oof. That's a good question, Angelo. I would say at least 10. Like, I can easily think of five right off the top of my head, and I'm sure I've dropped a female or male from others in there as well. At least 10. Charles Cox in the house. Random and nothing to do with the topic, but good call on the Rapashi food, Mike. It did sink, almost made my wife throw up. So she, <laughs> she, so it's a win win. I got a good, oh, I missed it. I got a good laugh and my fish got good food. You're welcome. All right. Oh, no, key. So I'm not sure, Joseph. It's just, I'm not into politics and there's politics there. And I, I don't know. We'll see. If I go, I might just go to the auction. I might not go to the vendor room. I'm not sure. Who ate more at breakfast, Rob wants to know. Scott, I'm going to have to say I ate more because I'm the fattest. What do you think, Scott? Who ate more? Opinion on balloon bellied fish like Molly's Rams. I think they're weird than balloon bellies. They're basically deformed fish people are selling, you know, as something special. Nah, not for me.
Anthony, all the way from California. Hello, my friend. Oh, by far, Mike, by far, ate the most. Yeah, I know. Long, oh, Longfin Super Res on, on Get Gills. I might have to check that out. What's the earliest you've ever seen guppies develop color? I don't pay that much attention. What are they doing, to be honest with you? But I don't know, maybe a month? I guess it would have to depend on the temperature of the water and, and how many changes you're doing and how what you're feeding on their growth. You know what I mean? Picking up what I'm putting down? All right. Geo Aquariums. Those guppies have been through hell and back with me, so I shouldn't complain. They sit around 75 degrees. I have hard water, GH up around 10. I feed frozen foods and bloodworm flakes. I mean, you should definitely be dropping more, but... My guys, I mean, seriously, they they seem to drop take longer to drop than some of the other guppies, but they get I do get big batches out of them. Oh, apparently I'm saying something I'm not supposed to say. Sorry, Scott. Is it too cold to ship to California? Dominic, I'm not shipping until after New Year's, and uh, then I'll be watching the weather if I get over... 40 degrees at night, I will more than likely be shipping. It all depends on how you prep them and how you box them and care for them. So I don't know if I'd ship plecos yet, but guppies, I think I would. Hi, a and Dirt Biking. Legit enemies at candy for mines. It's usually one and a half, one to one and a half gallons per fish. Oh, we're talking about the gallon per fish ratio. I might have ranted about that. Would you ever go shark diving? No. Not because I'm afraid of sharks, just because nothing like that interests me. Steven, are you... Mick... What? Are you... McGoey's I sent you on Facebook? And the... What? Steven Law, I don't know what you're saying. Maybe this ate most of them. I appreciate it. But yeah, Gio, that's for that's something for sure. What's the best temp for guppies? AT&T dirt biking. The best temp for raising them fast, for breeding. I mean, I keep my tanks right around 78. I walked in the fish room and it was 86 degrees. It's now 82 degrees. I turned the heater off, basically. Because um, I'm a fat guy and the heat bothers me. But whatever. So I'd go, I'd go like 78. Yeah, Anthony, the fan does run 24-7. Sword family is 16 years old, made 300 bucks. Nice job. Hakari or Northman for fry? Northman for sure. Hakari is garbage. Charles Cox. Male guppy is slowing down, chasing that minnow around. Maybe he got tired. <laughs> that was a funny story, Charles. Are plecos easy to breed? As I've not seen many people breed them. Um, some bristle nose are very easy to breed, but... They are poopaholics, and they do eat a lot of food. <sighs> One gallon per fish, only if it's a triangle tank. That's true. Um, what do I hate? The Valley Fish wants to know what I hate the room with. Valley, you see that? That right there? That's a heater. It's a ventless natural gas blue flame heater that's what i heat the room with my friend i just installed it check the channel for videos uh charles cox is afraid of sharks when he was in the navy yeah Oof. king and queen cichlids mike my video just hit 758 views love you you're welcome which video the the breakfast i don't think mine has that many views and it's been out since yesterday what a that video is sucking wind. Stand by. Checking YouTube analytics. Taking forever in the basement. 784 views. Damn, your video is going to pass mine soon. Good for you. All right. Uh, hey, hey, what's up? Do you have dirty tank with guppies? Do you do a... I don't... Jeffrey Lee Lay? No, all my tanks are bare bottom. Mr. Bob Kaler says, are you ever going to give up the name or link to the multi-sided Japan bot filter? Have a heart. I there is no link. I'll tell you the name. Stand by.
here. There's the name. See if you can translate that and find it. JH, what's up, Joseph? Um, it's made in Thailand. That's kind of funny. I forget. I used. I did have the name. It's a Susaki. Su. Susaku. Susaku. There. Google that or check that on Amazon. This is a large. I like the large for the guppy tanks. Somebody, I don't remember who asked me to buy that for them in Japan, and they were going to buy fish, and I was going to ship it, but I don't. that never happened, so I don't know if I want to use that. DJ Signer, are you prior military? Why do you ask that? Just curious. Uh, can you read that? Read what? <laughs> yeah, 88 people watching, only 48 thumbs up, people. Thanks, Joseph. Same to you, my friend. I've always wanted to do... <sighs> By the way, I'm awesome. Thanks, Joseph. I think you're talking to me because, you know... Uh, what do you think of nice... What are nice... Ni nice... Roo? I don't know what nice roo lights are, my friend. Sorry. Stand by... Oh, DJ, no. Never in the military. My father was in the army, but I was never in the military. So, quick funny story, just before, for all you old folks, Desert Storm, I was in high school, and uh, not really talking with my parents much, and I decided, I oh, I took the ASVAB test to get out of school, and I scored really well, and the recruiters kept telling me I could do anything I want, and I told them I wanted to drive a tank, they're like, no problem, you could be a tank commander, they didn't. I don't really want to be a commander. I want to drive the damn thing or fix the damn thing. Anywho, I uh, I was like this close to enlisting. And uh, pretty much the day I was supposed to go sign the papers, my mom cried and said she didn't want me to go. And long story short, I didn't go. And I wish I did. All right. Moving on. Uh, man, this chat's going kind of fast. Everyone's saying hi to each other. Not Nola Jane is here. Hello. Uh, questions, questions, questions. Legit. Tubs outside in Arizona is a bad idea, right? Seems like a no-brainer, but I just want to make sure. Yeah. I don't know what the temperatures are right now, but I know when it gets to like 115 degrees, that might not be so good as, unless you have shade. But I definitely put an air stone in there. What's the best selling strain of guppies? For me, it's Black Moscow's. Well, box of juice. Um, the Black Panda guppies are the biggest, are the best sellers. Although the uh, Half Black Red Deltas are, are a close second. They're like really cheap too. So I raised the price. <gasps> There's my Jack Russell Terrier Indy. John's here. So just relax. All right. I'm relaxed. Lacey's place. Uh, what is your best true breeding guppy? That's a good question. Um, most of my guppies breed pretty true that are true strains. Uh, red Corbas breed really true. The black pandas breed a hundred percent true. I'd say black pandas. Yeah. Is it possible to come to your location to buy fish? No, Joseph, it's not. I don't allow strangers in my house. However, if you want to buy fish, uh, you can buy them on the website and use We'll Pick Up No Shipping, and I'll meet you at a local Wawa. I've done it many a time. Uh, I recently got Purple Moscow Guppy Fry. Good job, Glad. Otter Creek. Hiya. Meat Man says, don't feed those cichlids to the Oscars. What are they? Scott, did you watch the video? Are you going to tell me what they are? Uh, the Japan Blues, have they bounced back? No. But I have a new... I have... I shipped Japan Blues to uh, a friend, not a friend, a customer in Puerto Rico, and he test-shipped fish back to me. That's what he sent back. So now I'm breeding those. So I do have them, if that's the question. How many days will a pregnancy take? I'm assuming you're talking guppies, right? Like how many times from the... Do they, will they drop fry? Like how many days in between? 28-ish. 
do you have a trio of lemon blue eye plecos on your website? I don't. I don't sell them as male or female. They're usually too young to do that. If they were bigger, they'd be way more expensive anyway. Poor cute little fishies. Who's poor? Chris. Chris Matsko in the house. He's the Chris from the three breakfast with three fish guys. Say hi to Chris, everyone. 96 people watching. We only need four more to hit 100, but only 59 people with thumbs up. What in the hell is that about? Uh, so Bob is talking to Kendall. Where's Kendall? I don't see Kendall on the stream. Anywho, uh, Bob, if you did more videos, you would eventually get paid. I always have a fry in aquarium, but they don't grow or get sick and die. Always why? Dixon, for the love of Christ, I need some information. Angry Mike's coming. What kind of fry? What kind of tank? What are your water parameters? Exact. Please, and I will be happy to help you. Rainbow mosaic fry of everywhere. Good work, Otter Creek. Uh... Really, 10, Lacey? Do you offer a trio deal? Lacey, what are you talking about? For Plecos? No. Chris needs a channel. Yeah. If he wants a channel, I will certainly help him, but. Was it scary when you met Joey? <laughs> I was scared. He would have kicked my ass, I'm sure, if we were in a dark alley. I don't want to talk about Joey, though. Any deals for Wawa pickups? No, Joseph. No deals. Why do people think it's okay to ask for deals? I'm a business guy, right? I'm trying to make money. No deals. Uh, what is your worst fish room disaster? Probably when I found my son's two Oscars on the floor. They jumped out of the tank. That was pretty bad. Bob Taylor's Fish Hobby with a $10 super chat. Sure where someone would send me a Japan filter. <laughs> Otter Creek is Kendall. Oh, I got it. Bob, email me. I'll send you a Japan filter. How's that? 99 people liking, but Jordan said there was. Oh, 100. Boom. Thanks, folks. Uh, what's old news, V Pryor? Hey, I got a notification. <laughs> Barbara got a notification. Hi, Barbara. We're now Facebook friends, Barbara. You waved at me. Those nebula guppies are beautiful. They sure are, Chris. They're right here. Some of them have a dark body, which is even cooler. I'm going to maybe pull those aside and see what happens. Anywho, how's the sound? Santa's bringing me a really nice mic for Christmas. I can't wait. Uh, I had a rope fish jump out of a tank and walk 20 feet. Damn. That's messed up, Jordan. We are friends on Facebook, Michael. What the heck? I know. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm old. I don't remember this stuff. I'm sorry, Kendall. I am the man, Bob. You're right. Angry Mike. Everyone likes that. Andy, come here. It's my old Jack Russell. He's my boy. Uh, all right. Thanks, John. I sound great. Oh, snap, Jordan. What's a Japan filter? Dominic wants to know what a Japan filter is. So you know what a China filter is? They're the cheap China filters. A Japan filter is not a cheap China filter. It's a Japan filter made in Thailand. I have them. I've done unboxings. Check the channel for Japan filters. Just go to my channel, search Japan filters. You'll see a ton of videos. It'll explain them. Rope fish can survive for eight hours out of water as long as they stay moist. There are people that don't like the word moist. Moist. Uh, where did you get Chewy? A and T dirt biking. I got Chewy from Aqua Craze, Julie Chan, and he is stellar. I'm looking forward to purchasing some panda guppy soon. My favorite guppy. All right, XX Psycho Girl. Uh, that took a second to read, but that's kind of interesting. What's the XX on the in the beginning and the end? What does that mean? Something like, what does it mean? How are Hannah and Leia doing? Leia's always hiding in the cave. And Han's doing good. They stopped eating a couple days ago. And I realized I hadn't changed anything in their filters for a while. Like a long while. Like maybe forever. 
So I changed out the filters, did like a 90% water change. Boom, they're all better now. And I didn't even check water. I uh, wonder if you can import some of those Japan box filter. I'm kind of working on it, Barbara. Sh Russell Dawson, $5 super check. Thanks, Russell. I'm breeding nebula seal guppies, and they produce two albinos. Have you ever heard of albino nebulas? I've never heard of albino nebulas. But that's pretty cool. How big are they that you can tell they're albinos? <laughs> Psycho girl, no meaning to it. Just makes it unique, I suppose. All right, fair enough. Pam has to be nice. What is Punchy doing that she's not being nice? Uh, your full knowledge, everyone loves you. Keep up the good work. Yeah, Bob, keep up the good work. Your uh, accent, I love it. It's very relaxing. Denny wants to know if I've seen Ryan's new discus fry. He has discus fry every day. It's hard to keep up with his discus fry. He is awesome. He's got a special project going on. I'm not sure if I can talk about it, so I won't, but it's very exciting. Yes, Pam apparently that's fine i have a hard time being nice too pam it's 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 hard all right they're all they're all messing with bob my oscars were really fussy about flow if there wasn't a flow they would throw a hissy fit they weren't throwing a hissy fit they just weren't eating and they looked lethargic they look sick to me is what i'm saying i don't know if that means anything 103 people liking what the hell this might be might be my most no i think i've had 120 maybe i don't know i don't know all right what uh, molson 2889 wants to know what fish would you put in a community tank to control guppy fry population anything that swims faster than it um just take out the females and then you won't have a guppy fry problem uh, Bob, I talked super fast in a vid I did on box filters last night just for you. Thanks. I'll have to check it out. So, Psycho Girl bought puppies. She just purchased some puppies tonight, and she has them quarantined at the moment. I went with my routine. Well, thank you. It's not mine. I learned it from Corey. Um, but, uh, it works for me at least. So, and then she corrected herself. Guppies, not puppies. I know. Oscars are super huffy. Yeah, they are, Jordan. Jen is lurking. Happy holidays, everyone. Hashtag fish talkers, me and you, Bob. Barbara wants to know, so how much are flurries these days? I don't... What's a flurry? Is that a Dairy Queen joke? What's a flurry? I should probably know what you're talking about, Barbara, but I don't know. What is my favorite guppy breed? That's like the third time that's been asked tonight. Um, in my fish room, my favorite guppy strain is Dumbo Rainbow Dragon Mosaics. And there's like thousands of guppy strains I've never seen before. So I can only go by what I've seen. Word mob 108 now, buddy. Do you flop and drop puppy? <laughs> Pam, that was fantastic. Mike, would you get one of the Ziz filters Corey has brought? I don't know what those are. I don't watch Corey anymore. Um, for whatever reason, I decide just don't watch. I don't really have time. I don't watch many YouTubers. Occasionally, I watch one of Zenzo's videos. Um, I watch Scott's videos. I watch um, Graham Aquarium Adventures videos. I try to watch Bob sometimes. But anyway. Uh, I don't know what a Ziz filter is, so maybe I'll check it out. McFlurry. I've never had a McFlurry. And Oddball always flops and drops the puppies. Psycho Girl, I ship to all 50 states, plus Puerto Rico. So, yes. Oh, dang, a blizzard. Oh, blizzards are spectacular. I don't know how much they are. I don't pay attention. If I want a blizzard, I go buy a blizzard. They're expensive, though. Oh, now I want a blizzard, but my teeth hurt. Damn you, Barbara. Damn you. Uh, what's the most expensive strain you have ever owned? Box of juice wants to know the most expensive strain. I'm cheap, so I don't buy expensive strains usually. Mm, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't really know. 
like maybe the black panthers I bought from Corey because they were full retail. They probably were like fifty dollars for a trio shipped or something. But I'm cheap. I don't buy a lot of expensive stuff. Bob Keller is my favorite channel. Yeah, yeah, Bob. Yeah. Actually, Joseph, I do watch some of your videos, my friend, but I've said it a hundred times. I don't watch much fish YouTube anymore. I just don't have time. If I'm watching YouTube, it's usually um, on how to edit, how to use Final Cut Pro, you know, how to take better video, how to take better pictures. That's kind of what I've been doing. And uh, want to hear a little secret? I've also been researching saltwater tanks. Yep. All right, Chris says, if I want a stream, a steam tray of bacon, I take steam tray of bacon. No, you don't. I do. Uh, I missed a bunch. Would you let your flower horn bite your finger again for $200, Jacqueline? Who's not Jacqueline using your wife's account? I mean, your wife could pay for it. Uh, I love that you that you're asked the all-time most expensive guppies. I get asked that question on my favorite strain, like every stream. It's cool. Russell Dawson with another five dollar super chat. Thanks, Russell. They are about three quarters of an inch, and they their eyes are pink. They also produce one male that looks like a purple Moscow. So steel nebulas are originally a mix of a lot of guppies, I'm sure. So it's possible. I would definitely separate those um, those albinos because they're weaker. They usually can't see as well, so they don't get as much food, and uh, which makes them weaker. So I definitely separate them, see what they look like when they grow up. Quotes, Chris. Chris Swan in the house. Do you get aggravated when people say outtake? Do you get aggravated when people say out? No, why would I get aggravated? I get aggravated at a lot of stuff. That's not one of them. It's not on the list. Chris with caps. Did I miss anything? No, nothing. I'm just babbling as usual. What time is it? 8.41. All right, guys. Ask some questions. Emerald Aquatics says, where can I get steel nebulas delivered to UK? I have no idea. Anyone in the UK watching? Jordan, where can I get steel nebulas? So uh, who watched the Manchester United match today? Me, I'm very excited. Jose Mourinho was fired earlier this week. And Ole Gunnar, I can't pronounce his last name, a former Man United star, took over. And they won 5-1 to one today. Scott's back. Oh. Psycho Girl's waiting for the cough. I'm fine. I can't fake it. I just have to cough. Pam with a $2 super super has have that. Take two. Pan with this. Oh, wow. See, this is what happens in real life. 54 Punchy with the $2 super chat. What is your all time favorite guppy? I don't know. I have to think about that. Perhaps in my fish room, the Dumbo Rainbow Dragon Mosaics, which you can find on michaelsfishroom.com. Pairs and trios for sale now. <sighs> Just missed Mike feeding and. <laughs> That would be fantastic, Anthony. How soon after fryer hatch should I put a male back in with the females? So, Chris, first of all, what kind of fry? You cannot be talking about guppy fry because guppy fries aren't hatched. They're born live. Hence the word live bears. All right. That was a bit of an a-holy thing to say. But um, I don't. you got to tell me what you're doing. Like, what do you mean put the male in with the females? You can put them in the next day, and 28 days later, boom, chicka, boom, boom, fry. All right. Emily Jane says, steel nebulas in the UK are called black metalhead or black lace. Might find them easier. So I've seen black metalhead on black lace guppies here in the United States, and they're not the same. I don't know why they would be called something different in the UK, but, but uh, I think we call... Cobra guppies here, you guys call them snakeskin, at least in Europe. I think that's how that works. A-N-T Dirt Biking wants to know my favorite cichlid. Angelfish. No. 
flower horns. No angelfish. I don't know. I don't have a favorite cichlid. Maybe my flower horn, Chewy. Could it be my Oscars? No. Flower horn? Angel? I'm going to have to go with flower horn. Angela made it. Woohoo. Stand by. Will you ever be able to sell any live plants such as guppy grass or java moss? So, Psycho Girl, I don't have it on my website because I can't stock enough to sell it. Um, I'm going to consider selling plants in the spring. I don't want to compete with uh, some friends like Green Oasis Farms out in Arizona. Um, but if you buy guppies and you email me and say, hey, could you sell me a handful of java moss? I'll do that. I do it a lot. Ryan, Papa Rhino in the house. Uh-oh, Barbara with something interesting. I got some interesting mails from the Red Cobra line. They are super shiny gold with a few flecks of black in the tail, and the tails are edged in red. I may work with them. Do it, Barbara. Do it, and then sell them to me. Legit enemies for editing software. Final Cut is actually pretty good. Also, Sony Vegas, because you can get Barbara. I already bought... Final Cut, because I don't know why. I think because I bought a Mac and figured it's got to be the best because it's for a Mac. And just like every other Apple software, it's very intuitive. But there's so much to do and know. I'm ignoring 54 Punchy Super Chat, and I shouldn't. What is the most expensive guppy you have bought? A $2 Super Chat from Pam. <sighs> Pam, I think the most expensive Super Chat I've ever gotten was $50. Bob, did you give me a $100 Super Chat once? No. Bob gave me a big Super Chat once. Oh, I'm sorry. Expensive Guppy. Not expensive Super Chat. I'm going to have to go with the Black Pandas I bought from Corey. Stand by. UK is weird as forget about it with Guppy names. Emily, I make up Guppy names all the time. And it's weird because it works. So I've been interested in clownfish lately, saltwater clownfish. And I asked, if you saw the video, I asked uh, Joelle at uh, Exotic Fish and Pets in Reading, Pennsylvania. Do they make up names for, um, wow, for clownfish like they do guppies? He's like, yep, of course they do. Same thing with plecos, by the way. Uh, good question, Psycho. What was the question, Psycho? Oh, plants. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Matt H., do you have plans to attend Aquashella Dallas in March? Will you have a booth? Matt, I won't have a booth. I probably cannot attend because I have some work um, responsibilities, work commitments in March. I was considering going, but I don't think I will. Russell Dawson, my number. Yeah, mine either, Russell. Falling in love with a pistogramma. J.H. Joseph Harden. Check out J.H. Aquatics. Uh, I love a pistogramma too. In fact, if you have Jason's um, last year's fish fam calendar in December, my picture is of a triple red I had that I was trying to breed. But I sold them. Abba wants to know. Abba, what happened? I moved it too fast. At what point do we deserve a rant about the amount of names in some of these guppy strains? Four names, five names, soon enough, Galaxy, Rainbow, Steel, Snake, Skin, Albino, Dumbo, Jose, Guppy. See, I can't rant about that because I make names up purposely with extra long names because if they have a lot of names in the name, they got to be worth a lot of money. A lot of money. Angel wants to know if I, if, I've ever breed, if I will ever breed Chewy. Probably not, because I just don't have the time nor desire, but can never say never. Robin, Michael's Muck Guppies are the bomb. Not taking away from other strains, but the mutts are awesome. My mutts are pretty awesome, Robin. You're right. They're also super hardy. Super hardy. Ryan says the Kentucky game is about to start, so he might be in and out. It's an inside joke between me and Ryan because apparently I think he lives in Kentucky, even though I know he lives in Kansas and he's a ginormous Jayhawk fan. Ooh, thanks for the reminder. You're welcome. Do you ever – have you ever paired up some mutts to see if they will breed you? No. Because they're mutts. They, I mean, they breed true for mutts. No. Because there's so much genetics in those tanks, I don't think they'd ever breed true again.
Pam, who's got a big cock? Chewy? He sure does. Um, hi from the UK. 145, favorite Pleco. My favorite Pleco? I haven't seen that many Plecos, but I do really like um, Green Dragons a lot. And I, I like the long fin varieties a lot because they look like little, like, aliens. What do I think of the Marina Breeder box? I've never used it, so I don't know. It looks pretty cool. I mean, it looks like it would work for its purpose, but I've never used one. I saw, um, wow, brain fart. Greg Jones did the, the new beta box setup with those breeder boxes, and they looked pretty cool. Joseph, I don't know if I heard your answer. You can send it to me in the USVI if you send it. To yeah, I'll, I can send you fish. We talked about this, Joseph. I'll send you fish. Just let me know, brother. Uh, just take you up on that offer. I have a beautiful mosaic Dumbo Guppy set with albino bristlenose pleckos and chocolate bristlenose pleckos. That sounds cool. School? That sounds cool, psycho girl. Does my heater have a thermostat? Craig, it does. I originally bought one that didn't have a thermostat. I put it on the lowest setting, and I walked away. I came back an hour later, and the room was like 98 degrees. It was hot as balls, and that's hot. So I returned that and got one with a thermostat. It was like $50 more, but it's so worth it. So Craig, oh, yes. Uh, I just skipped a bunch of stuff. Wow, I'm behind in the chat. If I had 155 aquarium, which filter would you choose? Sponge filters? Chris, so many cool clients. Yes, there are. I don't know. I'm going to pick maybe two. Mob Guppy, Michael Strisham, have you ever had a hankering to develop your own? No, I've never had a hankering. And I have worked with sore tails. The um, Japanese blues have are sore tails. Joseph will be at Aquashella. Breakfast videos. Yes, select pet. Hi, all great breakfast videos. Thank you. Mob Guppy will be in Aquashella. Jordan, there's a Guppy Association for Irish in the UK, which are an authority, which have show guidelines for names. Austin, I am starting to breed bristle nose on my local pet shop has a mating pair. Would that be see the best bet for me to breed them? So it depends how much they are and what you want to do. I mean, yeah, if they're a – Plecos really aren't like mated pairs like Discus or Angels. They, If there's a boy and a girl, more than likely they will breed. Uh, better if there's, you know, a male and a couple of females, but whatever. Um, I mean, if it's, if it's in your budget, yeah. If they're a proven pair, sure. All right. Crazy gorilla. I have a beautiful black clown in my 20 gallon. I recently started a saltwater tank and I'm enjoying it. Don't have anything too crazy. A few fish and shrimp. So I want to do like a 25 uh, bio cube with a clown and either an anemone. -me. I just want to buy one so I could stumble on it every time I talk about it in a video. Anemone. Um, but I also want a really cool shrimp. Like a fire shrimp, and I'm I'm pretty sure the anemone and the fire shrimp won't get along. So, all right. Uh, have I ever tried being a special mud to a strain of its own? What are they doing? Have you ever tried being a special mud into a strain of its own? Ask that question again, because I have no idea what you're asking. What do I think about the Marina Breeder Box, Dominic? I answered that. Ryan Austin, yes, they are easy. A mutt, not a, oh, fantastic. Have I ever tried being a special mutt? No, no, because they're mutts. That's not, I'm not trying to line breed them. I'm not trying to do anything with them, but um, sell hardy guppies that if people aren't looking to spend $45 on a pair of guppies uh, to breed for whatever reason to sell or because they want to, they just want guppies and they want them hardy and they want to buy them from a, crappy YouTuber like myself, boom, muck guppies. However, I have been selling them wholesale lately and making some banks. So we might we might up the the mutt muppy game. 
Mutt Muppy. Mutt Guppy game. All right. When are you going back to Japan? You got you got some really great videos there. Angela, I'll be going back in June. At least I have a my next plan trip is in June. My boss could tell call me in the office when I get back from vacation and be like, Yamachan, I need you to go to Japan. And then I have to go. So what makes one guppy better than the other? Color? asks Scott from King and Queen Cichlids. Um, it's kind of personal preference, Scott. It's kind of like I really like guppies with lots of color, like mosaic tails. So to me, that might be better, but someone else might like all solid color. So that might be better to them. So by better, do you mean more valuable? I don't know. I was going to comment on that in the breakfast vid, laugh out loud. Denny, what were you going to comment on? The bacon? I have like a paper cut on my finger and it really hurts. Everyone should be a Kentucky fan. I'm from Kentucky. Select Petty's really from Kansas. Sorry. Abo Aquatics, use different words, not more words. Maybe that will drive the price up even higher. If I hear Dragon Mosaic in the word, and in the word, if you put Dragon Mosaic in the name, it immediately doubles the price. Faux show. Barbara says, I'm skipping down. Sorry. Uh, how many strains do you have that are solid color in the tail and or body? Punch you with a super chat. How many anemones can you put in an anemone tank for anemones? I have no idea. <laughs> Barbara wants to know how many solid. What do you want to know, Barbara? How many strains do you have that are solid color in the tail or or body? I'm assuming you mean males. Some pump. So. The black Moscows have bl solid black tails. The black pandas have solid black tails. The half blacks have solid black tails. Half black reds have red tails. I think that's it, Barbara. Three, four. Four? Oh, I have, what are they called? Dark purple mosaic, but I think the tails are solid. Gotta pull up the pants, people. They're called dark purple mosaics, but they look all purple like, you know what? They're not mosaics, they're dark purple Moscow's. I'm just an idiot. I named them wrong. Damn it. All right. We're going down. Dominic, when you go to Japan, you should bring back a suitcase full of Japan filters. So spit all over me. That would be a problem with customs, and shipping is really expensive. However, I am trying to work on something. So stand by. Mm, I think my Plek is a 245 Panak Bengini or something nice blue color. Cool, Gil. I mean, you guys could super chat all you want, and I will definitely read them. So if you want me to say something, that's the way to go. I'm just saying. You should never use words to drive a price on a fish. That's used car salesman shit. Sorry, Ryan. You know I'm joking. We fought that in Angels and Discus hard. It dumbs down the science. What is the best temp for a betta? I don't know. Bettas do like it warm. I keep them high up so they stay warmer, like 80. Woo, with the legs. I know you like it. It's hot down here. Look, I'm sweating. I'm shiny. Scott's going to bed because he's old. Nine o'clock. Got to turn in. I got to be honest. I'm, I'm, I could turn in too. Bye, Scott. Bye, Oddball. Uh, any more questions? 80 is great for a better, says Anthony Regan. From California. <laughs> Filter smuggling. Yeah, that would be pretty funny. I mean, I don't normally get searched in customs because I go to Japan so often, but you don't want to get caught. All right, folks, before we uh, end this, any more questions? Marcus Studios, I have had four guppies, three female and one male since September 22nd. 
about like three or four months, and they won't breed, although they did go through tank cycle. When you say they won't breed, do you mean you don't see any fry ever? I need more information. Kendall's here listening at work with headphones. God, that's that's got to suck because I'm so loud. Dominic says it's only six where I'm at. Well, it's nine here. I usually go for an hour. You know, new stranger plan bring in soon. So, Kendall, I do have, I currently have two empty tanks with water in them. And one, two, three more tanks to drill. I just got some bulkheads and hole saws in the mail. Um, so at least three more strains, I think. I actually have three empty tanks with water in them. All right. Yeah, do me a favor. Ryan, you're right. If you guys haven't done so already, all 95 of you, go ahead and check out King and Queen Cichlids. My goal is to get Scott to 1,500 subscribers by Christmas. He's at like 1475. Go sub him up for me, please. Let's uh, go ahead and get him up to 15. I mean, 1,500 subscribers. I'd appreciate that. Ryan, good call. Uh, 2 a.m. in Scotland. Jordan, thank you for watching. Bob, cavity search. Yeah, that would be interesting. Chris Fisherman, Michael, do you know any auction action action clubs in Pennsylvania that sell guppies? I don't know what an action club is. There's a ton of fish clubs in Pennsylvania. What part of Pennsylvania? Email me. I'll help you out. J Law, I'm not breeding angels. Saltwater shrimp have coral banditro. I'm not sure it'll bother. And then these. Haley is live. Okay. I did get the platters, Anthony. Check out today's video. Crush Flake is okay for guppy fries, Zach. All right, fishy folks. I'm out. Empty tanks. Purnell, I have... In the fish room, I have empty tanks. In the other side of the curtain, I have empty tanks. And in the garage, I have empty tanks. Because I buy tanks when they're cheap. Because I that's how I roll. I don't have any wild-type endlers. And I'm out. Hope everyone had a great stream. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com, kingandqueenscichlids.com, kingandqueenscichlids on Facebook, Super Cichlids, PRA Aquatics, Bob Kaler's Fish Hobby. I'm fine. JH Aquatics on YouTube. I think that's it. See ya.